वेलकम टू माई विजन न्यूज़ फॉर द लास्ट टू आवर्स आई हैव बीन वॉचिंग वट इज़ हैपनिंग इन कैनिया दीज मिनट्स टू आवर्स अगो प्रेजिडेंशल इलेक्शन वॉज ड्यू टू बी अनाउंसड इट्स रिजल्ट वॉज ड्यू टू बी अनाउंसड इन कैनिया सेंस दैन सेवल डिवेलपमेंट्स हैव हैपन यूरो कैनिया हैज़ नॉट अराइव एट द वेन्यू वेयर This result is going to be announced. William Ruto is there. His mother is there. His family members are there. What is happening there? Is Kenya once again going to see another disputed presidential election result? Uh, secondly, uh, we have a new story about. Uh, Ethiopian army chief Berhano Jugula who today spoke about uh, uh, Ethiopian government's intention to build a large army a big army a third viewers uh, Somali region of Ethiopia we have been uh, updating you about tensions between Afars and Somalis today a minister from somalia spoke in favor of the people of the somali region of ethiopia in this conflict uh, somali afar conflict and lastly we would see yesterday it was pm abi who was seen planting trees uh, and today it was jawar jawar muhammad was seen planting trees though his uh, uh, planting trees uh, is not part of pm abi's green legacy campaign but he was seen uh, there and i will respond to some uh, remarks made by some viewers uh, about a video which i did a few days ago when i raised some questions about funds raised at jawar's uh, recent trip to europe and north america uh, people uh, commented that uh, the money raised went to romo media network omn we have some details for you firstly viewers the kenya where on a tuesday presidential election was held two main candidates raila odinga and william ruto This is Raila Odinga's fifth attempt at uh, presidential office, and uh, William Ruto has been serving as deputy president uh, under Yoro Kenyatta since 2017. Last election held in 2017 in Kenya saw disputed election result parties went to court supreme court annulled election results then re-election was held boycotted by opposition is kenya once again going to see a disputed election result well two hours ago uh, uh, 12 uh, pm Uh, GMT at 12 p.m. GMT, Kenyan Election Board was due to announce uh, formal result of the election held on Tuesday. Since then, we have been watching the live coverage of what is happening at this venue where results will be announced. Final results. Uh, candidates were invited. to attend this uh, announcement of results william ruto has arrived at the venue his mother was seen as well his uh, other family members were seen he is there at the election venue uh, bomas raila odinga has not arrived there so far where is he why hasn't he arrived at this election result announcement venue one of his party's uh, leaders spoke a few minutes ago he said that uh, the party will verify results after that raila odinga will come at the venue so it means 
that after the announcement of election results by carrying election board, the party says, Raludinga's party, that it will verify results. Then it will uh, agree or disagree with these results. So it shows, clearly shows that uh, William Ruto seems to be leading. It seems he has secured over 50% of votes which are required to be elected as a winner in this presidential election. It seems that uh, Raila Odinga has lost once again. He, uh, but problem is that uh, he is not at the venue. It means that he is not conceding his defeat. If he says that his party will... Uh, verify these results. Uh, this verification has been going on for the last six days. Since a Tuesday, last Tuesday, till today, this verification has been going on. No one raised uh, serious questions about verification. But in the last six days, both parties uh, kept on claiming that they had uh, gained victory. Why were they claiming victory? Because they were preparing the ground for rejection of results. That is what it seems now. If William Ruto is elected, what is going to be Raila Odinga's response? Will he concede defeat or not? Will he go to court? Or will he concede defeat with honor and Kenyan... Uh, Kenya will enter a new era with a new president. Kenyatta backed uh, Odinga. So, William Ruto's election will be start of a new era. Uh, Kenyatta policies could be changed. So, Kenya, uh, the, these minutes there is tension in Kenya. Thousands, tens of thousands of supporters of both the parties, both the coalitions are out on the streets waiting for this announcement of results. What will happen after the announcement? If William Ruto is declared winner, will Raila Odinga party workers accept the result? Could there be riots? Several questions. Heavy deployments of forces are being seen across Kenya. In the next, we will update you more about this key uh, election result, which is going to have serious impact on this region, uh, Eastern Africa, because the region, especially the Horn of Africa, is seriously destabilized, Ethiopia destabilized, uh, Somalia as well, uh, Sudan to South Sudan as well. And if Kenya plunges into a political crisis, it can have, it will have a shockwave effect, which international community is trying to control. They are trying to uh, send a message that uh, all parties should show restraint. Secondly, viewers, Ethiopian army chief today reiterated Ethiopian government's position about Ethiopian national defense force, about raising a big army. Birhano Jula addressed a gathering of uh, defense at Defense Logistics headquarters today. And there he assessed uh, annual performance of uh, ENDF's logistics wing. And there he announced that Ethiopia uh, will build a big and a strong army which can repel all attacks, which can counter all threats. So, uh, it, though it's not a secret, but when you say that you want to raise a big army, it means that you want to recruit more and more young uh, boys and girls, firstly. And secondly, it means that uh, you need funds for uh, raising a big army. So, security sector is now Ethiopian government's priority. 
and thirdly you need logistics as well you need weapons to you need quality weapons for a big army you need to pay monthly salaries as well to uh, tens of thousands of uh, soldiers so it seems that ethiopia after tigray conflict uh, is going to turn into a security state where the resources of the country will go to ethiopian national defense force uh, and uh, uh, ethiopian government is of this view that uh, the government is justified in spending on endf on security sector because tigray forces last year was about to reach the capital and these forces regional federal forces they repelled the attack somehow uh, with the deployment of modern combat drones and if there is no powerful ethiopian national defense force some other group uh, some other region tomorrow can launch a similar offensive on addis ababa ethiopian capital uh you need a big army uh, to protect your country from internal threats but you need a conflict resolution as well if you are not focusing on conflict resolution uh, in ethiopia big armies uh, will not save ethiopia from destruction which we are seeing so big armies uh, uh, are difficult to sustain uh, you can spend on your army as all countries do but priority should be about resolving the conflicts if there are conflicts uh, it means that uh, the government will keep on spending on regional federal forces and the humanitarian uh, side social welfare side development side will be neglected a country in the grip of a drought where millions are in dire need of food aid is announcing that uh, it will continue raising a big army it means something is seriously wrong thirdly viewers today a minister from somalia spoke in support of the people of somali region of ethiopia in the background of a far somali tensions we know that a few days ago clashes erupted between uh, somalis and uh, afars and afar militia members took control of some territories uh, hondofo and some other places came under afar control somali regional forces are reportedly planning a counter offensive though counter offensive has not been launched so far and today a minister from somalia showed solidarity with the somali region of ethiopia he is from gulmudug state of somalia he is state minister of commerce and industry and he in a message urged all the people of the somali region of ethiopia to be united against a far attacks it means that this uh, escalation which is between two regions of ethiopia if it goes on it will have regional impact as well its impact will be felt in djibouti where afars live uh, but uh, where uh, somali isas are in power uh, its impact will be felt in somalia as well uh, and it is being seen very clearly that uh, a minister a sitting minister who uh, is an official a government official he is now openly speaking in support of the people of somalia region of ethiopia o n l f also held a meeting today uh, which was basically a ceremony in connection with uh, uh, the founding of this party this group 38 years ago in jigjiga uh, a gathering was organized and there abdirahman made o n l f Ogaden National Liberation Front leader opposition party leader in the Somali region of Ethiopia spoke and he said Somalis are being massacred in city zone O N L F will not tolerate this massacre what will O N L F do he did not elaborate uh, so if he is saying that uh, O N L F will not tolerate 
what does it mean will this party launch a political movement will it launch an armed struggle what will it do no uh, details shared by o n l f lastly viewers uh, jawar was seen planting trees today yesterday it was pm rb who was seen praising uh, green legacy campaign millions of trees have been uh, planted uh, in ethiopia jawar was also seen planting trees today uh it's not part of pm rb's green legacy campaign of course uh, plantation planting of trees should be encouraged uh, it should happen in all countries all parts of the world uh people commented on my uh, one of my videos about jawar's uh, recent trip to europe and north america there uh reportedly millions of us dollars were raised at uh, gatherings in europe uh, america and uh, in canada because uh, entry was not free 100 uh, dollars were charged for entry to the venue in the us in uh, canada and uh, thousands participated in jawar's uh, gatherings uh, in us and canada so a large sum of money was raised where is this money now several viewers uh, contacted me they said sajid the money went to oromo media network omn so you are accusing jawar i am not accusing anyone i just raised questions did jawar clarify where is this money did organizers of the programs clarify where is this money no one clarified jawar cannot fund uh, omn jawar's party ofc cannot fund omn why this is against ethiopian law no politician can own can fund any media outlet no political party in ethiopia can run an, a media network it can back it can fund a media network it is against ethiopian law so how can we say that uh, these funds went to romia media network so we are still waiting for answers where is the money which was raised at jawas programs in europe in canada in us if someone has credible information please share with me i will speak on it in the next video thank you for watching